As new details emerge every day about how 2611 mastermind David Headley infiltrated his way into Mumbai society, the man who got a closer look at Headley than anyone else, Rahul Bhatt, says that Headley never spoke much about Pakistan, Islam or even politics except to refer to Pakistan as the Wild West. Speaking to NDTV, Rahul says Headley did reveal that he had done time in an American jail but claimed it was for a minor offence. The American media has since reported that Headley was arrested on the charge of ferrying drugs from Pakistan and went on to become an agent for America's Drug Enforcement Administration. Headley, Rahul says, never mentioned his accomplice, the Vahur Rana, but did call him from Chicago after 2611. Did you ever have a chat about Pakistan? Because well, since he's brought up so much intelligence, right, and all, right. in the general way that people do. He referred to Pakistan as the Wild West. The Wild West. Wild West. In what context? Uh, as in, it's, it's the Wild West and more, more so ever that, that uh, AFPAC region. You would talk about that? Yeah. And, and, and what would he say? I mean, did he sound like somebody who was dismissive about Pakistan, like he knew it well? No, no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. But he would say that he would go to Pakistan often on business. Right. You never knew that his name was Dawood Gilani? No, no, absolutely not. Hmm. David Headley. So, so go on, you were saying <clears throat> that he would, he would talk about how he would travel, right. uh, uh, you know, ev here, there and everywhere, including Pakistan. Right. So you believe that he ran this sort of business? An immigration like business. Did he ever was... speak about the Havur Rana? No, absolutely not. You never met Rana? No. Vilas? No. 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 Because Rana also, right. the front was an immigration right. business, right. right? We never heard of Rana, hmm. absolutely never. Hmm. We heard of Rana only through the news. So who would Headley talk about mostly, or what would he talk about mostly? What what occupied his mind? I mean, we our conversations used to, uh, we, apart from bodybuilding, fitness, which were our common interests. Hmm. And he was very fit. He was fit. Fit. Hmm? fit. Yes. Very fit. Ah, Vilas, as yeah. a trainer, what would you say? Yeah, very fit. Like describe very fit. Like how you he's, know. He's doing 90 pound squat, 30 minutes cardio, non-stop, 300, 400 calorie burnout, and this is broad shoulder, six to his good height and good build mm. he's got and fit. He did mention to me once that he had done some time in prison. He told you that? He did mention to me that. And what did he do prison time? For? That he didn't tell me. He said he was ashamed about it and he didn't want to talk about it. Now he got into, into res resistance training, into weight training in prison. He said that? Yeah, because his form in, 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 in weight training was pathetic. Mm. That's what I mean, Vilas had to correct and, you know. But you mean he just casually brought up the point of the fact that he'd spent time in prison? In conversation. In conversation. And you never said, hey man, for what? I asked him for that. He said, I don't want to talk about it, Rahul. Hmm. Because you do know that later it turns out that he worked for the Drug Enforcement Administration of America. He went correct. to prison, then cut a deal with them, then became a surveillance person for them in the right. drug trade in Pakistan. Right, right. None of this ever came up. Absolutely out. nothing. So, what did he say about his time in prison? Did he say how much time he spent? No, no, no. Now, doesn't it strike you as peculiar, given who, what we know about this man now, right. that he would tell you that he spent time in prison? No, uh, the uh, prison uh, topic came up only when about how he got into weight training. Hmm. That's the only reason how it came up. Otherwise, he didn't say anything more about that. And we respected that. Chuba.com.